Okay, so we're back. And I wanted to do like a few examples of the real numbers and then tell you why, which number actually applies in the category. So here we have 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is considered to be a decimal, right? But what type of decimal is that? Is there a bar? Does it keep going? Does it stop? Oh, 0 0.5. It stops. So this would be considered to be a terminating decimal. And the only decimals that we had on the right-hand side earlier was rational. Okay. Let's look at number two. 0 0.444. So we see that we have a decimal. Now, is this decimal terminating or repeating? Oh, we have a bar. That's a great indicator. What do you know? Repeating. And the fact that it's repeating, this would also be a rational number. Ooh, we have a square root for number three. Square root of 25 is five. So now this is a regular number. So we have a few options with this one. This is going to be a natural whole integer. Good job. And what else? Rational. All right. Last, we have pi. That's going to give us 3.14, and it's just going to keep going. So this is a decimal. Is it repeating? It never repeats. Is it terminating? It never stops because we did the three dots. It kept going. So this, in this situation, this will be irrational. All right.